now we are going to see the lewis structures which stand exception to octet rule i think you all can remember how to write lewis structure for a molecule based on octet rule what is octet rule octet rule says that around each atom in this lewis structure there should be eight electrons either in terms of bond or it may be lone pair of electrons that is the electrons the pair of electrons which are not involved in bonding and in the lewis structures not all the lewis structures follow octet rule there are some molecules which cannot fulfill the octet rule these molecules are categorized into three types the first type is the molecules with electron deficient central atoms electron deficient what do you mean by deficient electron deficient central atom that is the central atom will have less number of electrons atoms which have less number of electrons are called electron deficient central atom if i say if i give you some example it will be clear the best examples are boron trifluoride or boron trichloride or beryllium chloride etc let us take this example that is boron trifluoride and let us write the lewis structure for boron trifluoride boron is the central atom you know the atomic number for boron is 5 and so the number of electrons in its valence shell or the number of valence electrons or 3 and for fluorine 27 because its atomic number is 9 27 so there are 7 electrons in its valence shell and we have 3 fluorine atoms here so 3 into 7 21 3 into 7 21 and here 3 valence electrons so totally we have 24 electrons for boron trifluoride in writing the lewis structure what is the first step we have to write the atoms first and then we should write the we should put single bonds in between the atoms then for each bond two electrons are spent for three bonds we have spent we have given six electrons so minus six we will have 18 electrons correct now these 18 electrons are to be put around the fluorine atoms until they fulfill their octet structure here already two electrons are present in terms of bond so we have to give six electrons so out of this 18 electrons i am giving six electrons for fluorine atoms so now this fluorine has attained octet structure coming to this fluorine we are giving six electrons to this fluorine also now adding these two electrons in the bond it has attained octet structure coming to this fluorine we have to do the same thing so that this fluorine has also got the octet structure almost over we have uh, given all the electrons all the valence electrons as bonds and lone pair of electrons to the atoms present in this molecule final step when writing the lewis structure is we have to check whether all the atoms present in that molecules have octet structure 
see all the three fluorine atoms have attained octet structure except boron. So, in order to give 8 electron structure for boron also, we can shift the a pair of electrons in any one of these fluorine atoms. See, let us transfer these two electrons as bond to fulfill this octet structure to get the octet configuration. So, the formula becomes B, this bond will become double bond, am I right? Now, I am writing all the 6 electrons as in the above structure and we have given 2 electrons as bonds. So, remaining 4 electrons are here and for this fluorine, the 6 electrons are written. Now, this will be the complete Lewis structure for boron trifluoride, but this is not an acceptable structure. Why? Because when the formal charges for each atom is calculated in boron trifluoride, this fluorine will get positive charge. That is, if you calculate the formal charge for fluorine in this, for this fluorine, it will be plus 1. The most or the more electronegative atom should not get positive formal charge. Since this, uh, the, since the formal charge of this fluorine atom is plus 1, this structure is not an acceptable structure. So, this structure will be followed. This is the best suitable structure for boron trifluoride in which boron has incomplete octet structure. So, this, this compound violates or it stands an exception for a Lewis structure which does not fulfill octet rule. Now, let us move on to the second category. The second category of uh, molecules which stand exceptions to octet rule or those molecules, molecules containing odd electrons that is in those molecules the central atom will have odd number of electrons. For this a very good example or examples or nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide. First, let us see nitric oxide. How can we write the Lewis structure for nitric oxide? Nitrogen and oxygen put a bond. The valence electrons for nitrogen is 5 and the valence electrons for oxygen is 6. So, total 11 electrons, right. Out of those 11 electrons, 2 electrons are given for bond. So, remaining 9 electrons. These 9 electrons should be written around oxygen from oxygen atom because it is more electronegative than nitrogen until it fulfills its octet structure. So, 2 electrons are here and the remaining 6 electrons right then 9 electrons from this 9 electrons 6 electrons are given again 3 electrons balance electrons so 2 electrons here 1 electron here now we are shifting 2 electrons from here to here in order to fulfill octet structure for both the atoms therefore the lewis structure of nitric oxide will be final structure will be these electrons are given. So, we need not write these two electrons again that is all. See this is the Lewis structure for nitric acid in which nitrogen has no 8 electrons around it. Therefore, it is an exception to 
octet rule it stands as an exe exception to exception to octet rule and you see the formal charge of this nitrogen is zero and for this oxygen is also zero for nitrogen dioxide let us write the lewis structure so put n at the center and the two oxygen atoms at the ends put a put two bonds in between now let's calculate the number of uh, valence electrons total number of electron nitrogen has five valence electrons and oxygen each oxygen has six valent valence electrons there are two oxygen atoms so 2 into 6 12 so the number of uh, total number of valence electrons present is 17 now we have written two bonds here for each bond two electron so two bonds four electron so minus 4 we will have 13 and we have to give uh, these electrons to these atoms uh, starting from the more electronegative atom in order to fulfill uh, octet structure so uh, let us start from this oxygen so 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 8 this is okay and for this oxygen 2 plus 2 plus 6 Six plus two eight. For this oxygen, it is okay. Six plus six twelve. Thirteen minus twelve one. We have only one electron here. So we have distributed all the valence electrons as uncharged pair of electrons or uh, bonds. Now we have to go to the final step, the, so that all the atoms have. Eight electrons in there, around this around its symbol, in order to fulfill the octet structure. For this oxygen is okay, and for this oxygen is also okay. The octet structure is okay, and for the nitrogen is two, four, five. So I am shifting uh, this uh, electrons here. So the structure becomes. like this so this will be the final structure for nitrogen dioxide even in this structure nitrogen has only one electron that is odd electron and the formal charges for the atoms are 0 plus 1 and minus 1 see oxygen has fulfilled the octet structure and this oxygen also fulfilled the octet structure but see nitrogen atom it cannot fulfill its octet structure it cannot attain octet electronic configuration in lewis structure so this nitrogen dioxide stands as an exception for octet rule and now the third category in which molecules with expanded valence shells expanded in this category in a molecule the central atom will have more than 8 electrons as bonds that implies that indicates that they have those atoms will have expanded valence shells that is the additional electrons will go to the d sub shell as we see some example we can understand good examples for this category are pcl5 and sf6 cp is the central atom in pcl5 and 6 and 5 chlorine atoms has to be written around it cl cl 
5 C L and we have to write bonds in between the atoms. So, I am writing putting bonds in between the atoms T C L 5. In order to attain, in order to complete the octet electron structure, we have to give the valence electrons to all the chlorine atoms one by one. So, this will have 6 electrons and around this chlorine atom 6 electrons, this chlorine atom will have 6 electron and this will also have 6 electrons and finally, this chlorine atom will also have 6 electrons around it. See the structure, all the 5 chlorine atoms have fulfilled their octet structure that is all of the chlorine atoms, all the chlorine atoms have 8 electrons, 6 electrons in terms of lone pair of electrons and 2 electrons in terms of bonds. But if you consider P, it has 5 bonds around it. So, for each bond, 2 electrons are to be given. So, totally 5 bonds. So, 5 into 2, 10 electrons. So, it has exceeded the number of electrons 8. Consider sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur has 6 fluorine atoms around it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let us put bonds in between the atoms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As soon as I put the bond, you can understand or you can realize 6 bonds, 6 into 2, 12 electrons. So, we should have only 8 electrons around an atom in a Lewis structure. But in this case, we have how many electrons around sulfur? Around 12 electrons. So, those electrons will be in the, will be uh, placed in the additional, the next D subshell. And for fluorine atoms, there will not be any problem. It will, all the fluorine atoms will have the remaining 6 electrons as lone pair of electrons. Thus, these two examples stand very good examples for molecules with expanded valence shells. So, these are the categories, three categories of Lewis structures which deviate or which stand exceptions to octet rule.